I got these Encore binoculars because we were going camping and hunting and I can honestly say I love them. They are so much more than what I was expecting them to be. Um, obviously I can't show you looking through the lens to see what you show but you do have to be quite a distance from any item. If you are too close to whatever you're trying to look at you are not going to be able to see it. These are definitely for distance viewing. Um, these also have a digital camera and a video camera on them, which I was totally surprised about. I was not expecting to see a video camera. But to turn the camera on, you just push the button here, and that will turn the camera on. Now, the camera are separate from um, the viewing of the binoculars. So you have to look through the camera to view and through the camera. And as you can see right now, all you see is white, and that is actually the edge of my stove. And I believe those are zoomed out. Yeah, those are zoomed out as far as they can go. But obviously, I'm too close to actually see anything. But I, you can zoom these in even closer. You can zoom these in four times. And for this purpose, the only thing you're going to see is white because we're in my kitchen. But if you notice, you did lose the black line um, of the stove handle as you zoom in and out. Oh, here we go. We can zoom out a little bit further. Um, like I said, you're not going to see anything in, in here. It does have different modes. Right now it is set to camera mode, but you can change that mode. And this is playback mode. And I'm going to see if I can tilt this where you can see a picture of what I've taken. Um, this is from a kayak going down, oh, quite a ways. I could, it's hard to see in the picture on the camera, but there's a little guy in here on, um, a watercraft. And I could barely see him from where I was at. But you do have play mode, so you can flip, if we can get this, maybe we can get it a little bit better here. You can flip through the pictures that you've taken to look at them. And I'm going to post some of these pictures online so you can see. Obviously, like I said in this video, they're hard to see. Um, this one here is of a deer. Oh, there you go. This one here is of a deer. And you can see he's really close. I had this zoomed out all the way in order to even get him in the picture. Um... I'm not sure why some of these are showing a picture error, but we'll go back through later and, and do those. I'll pull them up online on the computer. And then you also have um, a video mode. You can take video with this. So when you're zoomed in looking at something, it looks like I did take a 28 second video. So I'll have to go back through later to see what that is of. And it looks like it's probably even taking video right now. So let's go ahead and stop that. We don't want to take a video, but then you can turn it off and just close it down. It does come with a memory card and the memory card goes right in there. This one came with a one gig memory. So you can just take this memory card out. It is a micro SD and you can put it in your computer to download your videos and your photos that you've taken with these binoculars. And then as you can see, there's a charging port right there. These do not take a battery, they just charge. It does come with a strap so you can hang this around your neck. And I was gonna try to do some videos showing us using these, however, at the time we got a chance to use these, we were in a kayak. So it was kind of hard to keep the kayak going and use the binoculars and photos and take a video at the same time. Um, so I wasn't able to get that video. We were going on a hike the next day and I was going to use them again then. However, it was raining, so our hike kind of got canceled. But I can tell you that these binoculars are wonderful. And like I said, they are way, way more than what I was ever expecting them to be. Um, as you can see right here is the mode. And then this button here is the picture. So if you hit this button when it's turned on, you'll either do your video or your photos, depending on what you're taking at the time. And then there's your mode. This here obviously changes um, your viewing so that you're, you know, to zoom in or to zoom out. And then I'll show you closer on the camera. These two videos, or these two buttons here, they're used to zoom in and zoom out, as well as to um, play and rewind your photos. That's the power on off button for the camera. And then there's another button there for the camera.